Taifu here. I uh, just thought I'd do a quick vlog. Today's kind of feels like a really awesome day. It feels like everything's firing on all cylinders. I've had a eBay sale, uh, cha-ching this morning, Amazon merch fulfilled. I gotta do, I've got a side job that should just take me like maybe an hour to do on the computer. And yesterday, there's a store here in town that's kind of a liquidation world type place. Uh, I hadn't been there before, so I went and checked it out. It's like a small family-owned liquidation place. Uh, it's really cool. It's mostly grocery stuff. Um, but I went in there, and they had a bunch of CDs and DVDs and stuff. And, uh, let's see. Well, that's showing up backwards. Uh, but anyways, they were. it looks like they bought out at HMV. And uh, they had them brand new CDs in the case and everything, four for a dollar. And so I was just like, holy cow, that's a really good deal. And so I started scanning them uh, with my Amazon app. And they were coming up where like after fees and everything, four dollars, five dollars, you know, pretty, pretty good stuff when they were 25 cents each. And then I looked and there's like nine boxes of them. And uh, I was just, just kind of thought about it for a bit. I was like, I can spend like three hours in the store going through all of them and picking out the really good ones. Or I could talk to them and just see like what, what their thoughts are and if they want to get rid of all of them, right? And so I went and I talked to the manager and said, uh, you know, I don't know how desperate you are for shelf space or how well these are moving for you uh, would you would you want to sell them all in one shot for a, a better price <laughs> which it's kind of they were so cheap to start with like if they said no I probably would have had a, a think on it and uh, bought them all at the list price but uh, they went and said um, hundred bucks take them all and there's no way I couldn't, right? Like, all I gotta do is sell, like, 20 CDs out of this, uh, probably close to 800, uh, to make my money back. And so, yeah, I'm gonna be processing all of these, seeing what's good, and, uh, sending them into, uh, Amazon FBA. Uh, CDs are awesome because the long-term storage fees are tiny, because it goes by, uh, shelf space and weight and they're super small so like even if it takes like four years for some of this stuff to sell the fees on it for the additional fees for long-term storage fees will be like a dollar so just send them all in see see how it goes I haven't sold a ton of CDs on Amazon and they are the ones I have sold are pretty slow moving but they were so cheap, how could I not, right? Like, so, I'll, I'll probably do an update on uh, how these, these are going. Uh, a little update on the thermal printers uh, from a couple months back. I've now sold two, two or three of them. I think three, yeah, I've sold three of them now because uh, after the second one I was in the money and now I, I sold another one and I have one that I'm using and one left to sell. Uh, so yeah, those went well. Uh, I have seen some of them listed for parts even just on eBay for a good deal. Uh, so that's something I might, I don't know, maybe someday I'll, I'll try and become an expert on thermal printer repair and uh, just buy them, clean them up, sell them, so test them out, like that's the thing is like so many people, it's like electronic recyclers where they don't, they just get them for free basically and they, they're happy to get 30 bucks for them plus shipping um, and they have no clue how to test them or no time, so it's an opportunity. <laughs> Okay, so this is just a quick video on a uh, bulk lot of CDs that I bought. Um, 
so I got these, I figure it was, I had 10 of these boxes full like this, um, and so I've gone through, this is the last one I have to process, I do still have to put stickers on them all, um, and as you can see there's lots of duplicate ones, so what I've ended up with, I figure, once I'm done this one, I'll probably be pretty close to 400 that I'm sending in in this first batch. There's my scan lister. Um, and so my hope for this is that I paid $110 for the 10 boxes. And my hope is, it seems like the, the from the stuff that I'm sending in, it'll be uh, when they sell, I get about three dollars up to about ten or twelve dollars. Uh, so the mid range is about five dollars a piece I'll make when they sell. And so my hope is that every week one or two will sell, and it'll it'll just be a nice little uh, pipeline of like recurring payments until I get down to the ones that'll probably never sell. Uh, basically. This is all an experiment for me. I've never really jumped into selling CDs on Amazon um, on .ca, which is where I'm sending them. Uh, people have told me it's really slow. Uh, so the ones that had no ranking at all, I didn't send in. And I'll probably do those, list them another day uh, as Merchant Fulfilled. So this is kind of how I've been doing it. I take out all the duplicates or ones that have uh, cracks in the in the cases which is pretty common uh, there's quite a few that have cracks in the corner I don't know if you can see that one but right on the edge it's cracked it's pretty pretty tricky I'm sure there are some that have snuck through that have small cracks uh, so it's kind of a bit of a risk to my uh, ranking on uh, Amazon, but I figure for the price I got them, I, I give them a quick look over and then I scan them and uh, put them up with a price. Um, so I'm excited to see how it goes. Uh, as I was saying, I the ones that have no ranking, I'm not sending in. The ones that have any ranking at all, I am sending in. And I'm being very aggressive with my prices, uh, so it's fairly common that I match just the lowest price, not the lowest FBA price. Uh, that might piss some people off, but uh, my goal is for these to sell and not sit around. So that's what I went for. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you posted on how it goes. Um, this took me a few days to process. I'm not super fast at uh, listing stuff and uh, I, I'm not super efficient at it either, <laughs> so I would kind of do a few hours at a time and then take a break and do something else, and uh, I, the way I was doing it is I would scan them with the FBA app, uh, see what the prices are, decide on my price, and then scan them a second time with my wired uh, barcode scanner into ScanLister, and that's it. And then I put them in these, like you'll see this is number four, so I got three more of these. And they're in order, they go up and then that way. So basically if I tip this over, they'd be the stacks and that would be the last scanned one. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. And so when I apply the barcodes, I'll get all four or five of the boxes out print off the barcodes and hopefully they'll come out in order and it's just slap 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 um, one thing that I'm not sure of is that a lot of them have barcodes on the edges so I guess I have to cover those up uh, with little stickers or whatever um, so that's going to be a bit of a pain but uh, it should be worth it so my hope is that for 110 bucks plus the cost to ship these into Amazon, probably uh, 30 or 40 bucks. So for 150 bucks, I'm hoping 
Uh, it would be real nice if at the end of the year I could say, hey, look, I made a thousand bucks off this deal, um, and there's still 300 of them sitting in inventory, or not 300, that'd be pretty impossible, um, but like 150 sitting there. Um, the long-term storage fees on CDs are so, so little because they're so small, um, so it's like 15, 20 cents. So if it takes two or three years to sell, it's still worth it because uh, it's only accrued an extra like couple dollars uh, when they sell and you make three or four dollars, uh, it's still worth it. Uh, so yeah, I'm kind of excited. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, this is vlog number two or three or something, I don't know. Thanks.